No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Okay, guys, let's be honest. How many times did this happen to you? You're on track, you're ready to go, you're in the pit lane, you're making the last few changes on your tire pressure, and you either deflate them too much by mistake, or you don't insert your pressure gauge properly on the tire valve, and you deflate the tire too much by mistake. It happened a lot of times to me, and the only solution is you either walk back to your motorhome and use your compressor if you have one, or you go all the way to the compressor provided by the track. And by doing that, most of the time you lose precious track time, expensive track time, and it's such a shame. But this won't happen to you anymore from today because there's a new product on the market that I reckon to be genius. I will show it to you right now. Before starting, I would like to point out that this video is not sponsored in any way by the company that produces this tool, which is Alfano. I'm reviewing this because Alfano kindly gave me one. I tried it and I liked it very much. So I thought that it would be useful to show it to you also. Maybe some of you might like it and might find it interesting and useful as I did. Secondarily, I remind you that this show is entirely supported by you. And if you want to participate in uh, helping the show out, you can do so by visiting gaba380.club and there you can find all the information on how to support the show. But let's end it with this chit chat and uh, let's start with the video. So the peculiarity of this instrument is that yes, as all pressure gauges can definitely take pressure readings from your tires very precisely like the tire control 1 or tire control 2 did, but this can also inflate your tires. Yes, guys, you understood well. This can also inflate the tire. You don't believe me? Have a look. I'm now reading 0.75 bar in my go-kart tire, and now by simply rotating this lever, 1.36. That's crazy. Guys, this is really, really, really smart. I mean, let's not talk about this competition side, but let's talk about amateurs that maybe go on track with just their car, with their car popped on the, on the top of the car, and maybe they don't have space for the compressor, and this can really change your day. I'm not joking, I'm not saying it. I, I mean, it did for me. You can make changes really quickly without having the need of bringing your compressor or to go to the, the compressor each time. But let's go and have a look at it a little bit more in detail. The working principle of this tire control air is pretty simple as much as it is uh, intelligent. The source of your gas is this little CO2 tank. Just take your tank, place it there, screw it in tight and that's it, it's in. And then you're loaded and ready to pump up your tires. It's really simple. You have here a rotating valve which allows you to open and close the circuit, and has to inflate your tires. Let's see once again how this works. We are at the track. Our go-kart is warmed up. We are ready to go. We want to go on track, and we just need the last few pressure changes on our car. So we go in, plug the pressure gauge, and we see that our pressure is 0.90. We want to go down to 0.75 bar. That's it. We are almost there, 0 0.76, 77. 0.75 and then we want to disconnect the hose because we want to go on track and by mistake oh we didn't detach it properly and we went down to 0.71 we are desperate no because we can simply just now open the valves pop it back up to 0.8 and 0.75 much smoother detaching and now our tire pressure is perfect without having to go back to the track or to the compressor. But of course, the tire control air is mostly a pressure gauge and that's the main job. So, of course, as the tire control, the tire control tool, or the other instruments from other companies, it's incredibly precise in reading tire pressures. So let's imagine your driver has just uh, finished his stint, it's hot, it's pumped, it's doing pretty good laps, but there's always something you can improve and you want to check his tire pressure. So you go there, pop the gauge in, 
And I don't know if you can see, but there's a black line on top of the numbers here. Each of these corners represents a tire. So now we are on the right rear. You can move with the blue button on top of the other tire. And then with the red button, you record the pressure. So let's imagine this is the right rear, record, then left rear, record, record, record. Precision of 0 0.01 of a bar. You know how much I am a fan of data analysis and telemetry. So this is where I start talking about the second amazing feature of this Alfano tire controller, which I really like. And this is the cool thing. If you are a nerd like me that likes data and stuff, Alfano gives you the possibility of having this little cable. You pop it here in the back of the tire control air, like this. There your driver is in. You took his pressure, you're ready. You don't want to write them down, maybe on a piece of paper. You just simply plug the other end into the black connector of the Alfano. This one here is detected, box for move. Well, my firmware is probably not updated. And now you have a different screen here that says transfer. Blue button for cold pressure, red button for hot pressure. Of course, here the driver just stops, so it's hot pressure. Press red, boom, data transferred and is automatically synchronized with your session on the Alfano 6. So afterwards, you just can download it on your data analysis app and also have the value of tire pressure. It's uh, incredible, which is very useful if you want to see and check out uh, how the setup changes that you made affect the tire temperature and pressure and not only the feedback of the driver, which is important, but data is, data is good. So guys, let's check out other functions that we have on this pressure gauge. Let's go, for example, in the settings menu by clicking both buttons at the beginning, hold them for a few seconds. You can choose between using bar, you can choose your units, you can use bar or PSI. We, we, li we like bar, probably you English speaker prefers PSI. You can choose if it's a go-kart or a car or a bike, as you can see. Of course, you will have two tires more on the go-kart. We'll keep the go-kart. Then you can choose uh, which tires you want to start the reading from. I like this, the right rear. And then you can choose, for example, an offset, as you can see. If you don't want to tell your opponents what pressure you're using or you don't want them to find out, you can simply set an offset, in this case 0.25, and all my readings now will show 0.25 bar extra than the actual reading. So it will not make sense for the others, but it will make sense for you if you know the offset, of course, to keep your uh, setups entire strategy secret, which is really, really good. Before talking about the price and uh, going into the final consideration of this Alfano tire controller, I would like to point out two things that I did not particularly enjoy about this product. First of all is the actuation valve. I mean, this is the genius part of the device. It's the one that allows you to regulate the airflow going into the, the tire. The only thing is, if you're not practical with the tool yet, it's quite hard, uh, actually almost impossible to operate it with one hand. One, because it's easy to open, but then it's very hard to close it back and make little regulation with just one one hand. Also, it's quite pointy here, so it's quite of annoying. Hmm. It is too round on the top, it needs to be pointy. Round is not scary, pointy is scary. With two hands, you just plug it, as I did in my tire right now, as you can see. It's okay, with the time you can get used to regulating the little amount of air going in, but at the beginning, it's not that intuitive and most of the time you'll spray way too much. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm saying it can be improved. I think it will be improved. First of all, the ergonomics and maybe probably finding a different way to be able to regulate the pressure in an easier way. Maybe you have the valve, smaller because you don't need all this big knob. You either open it or close it and then you simply add another button that can help you regulate the pressure going in the tire in a much smoother way. Obviously, having another button may add weight 
and dimension and I would like to talk in fact about weight and dimension because it's probably one of the biggest drawbacks of this device I mean we will talk about it now how much does it weigh well in order to respond to that I will take my scale which I usually use for pasta my girlfriend would be very happy about this and uh, it's 564 grams more than half a kilo of course with the tanking which is quite heavy for a pressure gauge but this statement has to be put into context otherwise it will lose of value it will not be completely right it is too big for what in what context is this a pressure gauge well if it, this is only a pressure gauge well then yes it's too big and too heavy but it's not only a pressure gauge this is also a compressor and as a compressor this is very small and very lightweight so Instead of saying, well, it's heavier or lighter than its competitors, I would put it into context and I will test it myself in order to understand if this is actually too big or too heavy for what it is, too heavy to carry it around all day. And this is why I did this test. I decided to take it with me for 24 hours as if it was a phone. I'll just put it here. Tomorrow morning also, I will have to go on track. So I thought that would be a good excuse to see if it's too big to bring with you. So come with me, now I have to take a train, hopefully I will not get arrested for this, but who knows, let's go. I'm going home to my hometown Milan. So guys, how is it going so far? Well, so far so good. I mean, he's here. Oh my amazing electric scooter overtaking everybody as if I was on track. I'm not feeling too much the weight. It's quite bulky, so when you make some movements with your hands, you're gonna hit it, but of course it's not a phone. Uh, it's used to pump up your tires on track. So it's quite acceptable for now. Let's see later. Okay guys, we're finally here at the station, at the Torino station. I am going to Milan, to my hometown. I don't know why I'm doing this review, because I'm reviewing it as if it was a cell phone. And in the end of the track, you can always leave it on your car trolley leave it there and use it whenever you want but i just want to verify that you can use it as a small air tire controller so like this you have no way to escape it i don't know i'm trying it for the first time to have it with me all day so i don't know let's see okay guys i'm here with my alfano air tire control right here well what can i say I think it has passed the test. I've been with it all night with my friends, which are right there having another beer. And I haven't felt it really. I haven't felt it. I know it's not a phone. It doesn't matter. But I thought, hey, if this can stand a night out with my friends after a long trip right here, it can definitely pass the track test. Talking about the price. Uh... It's 295 euros on the Alfano website. Of course, it's higher than its competitors, but also here it's not really correct to make comparison with other products because this is in its own league. It's a different product. It's a, for what it does, I think it's a fair price. If you compare it only for its uh, pressure gauge functions, then maybe it's a bit too expensive but it's not just a pressure gauge. So the fact that it's unique and it's original, which are also the reason why I wanted to, to review this product for you, allows me to say that it's a fair price. How it's made? It's really resistant. It's hard plastic, tough plastic. And as you can see behind, there's lots of screws and it's really well made. Also this clip for your trousers is very hard, very well made, very decent metal. I've been using it for two months now, nothing happened, I'll check it around. And if something does happen, I will let you know and I will inform you, but for now, everything has been perfect. Maybe another thing that I don't like, we're in 2020 and maybe I would have done a different screen, but this probably would have caused the price to rise up a bit more. Yeah, it's simple, but Something more captivating for a product like this would, would have been nice. Also, you know, the look of it, 
I would have done the same thing with this gray plastic to make it look of the same family, you know? This is our new generation of Alfano and that's how we like it. I would have done that, to be honest. This will not replace a compressor. You will still need a compressor to at least prime your tire up and to uh, beat them on the, on the rim. Otherwise you will go through these bottles like crazy. Of course, there's different size tanks. I bought mine from a French retailer, very famous. I got three for like five euros. So they are very cheap. It's not really a cost, so. Let's close this video because it's becoming really a little bit too long and we'll do that on the sofa of the final results. Ah. So we are here for the final results and considerations here on the sofa so we are face to face. So guys, I think the only question to be asked is, Gabriele, would you buy this? And the answer is, ah, if you had asked me three months ago before I had this, I would probably say no. I was using a different uh, pressure gauge, very precise, also the one that my mechanic has. Asking me now that I tried it and I saw how comfortable and how useful it is to have the chance of pumping up the tires on the pit lane without having to put the car on the trolley, go back and do all the, the work on, in the heat, then I would say yes. If my other pressure gauge had broken, and this one had broken and I will have to buy a new one, I will definitely go for this. I'm not gonna lie. For sure there are cheaper options. It really depends on the needs that you have on track. I think if you don't have your own compressor with you all the time and you're always asking around, can I use yours? Or you have to go to the tracks compressor, that's a must now. I mean, you cannot miss out on this. If you already have your compressor, maybe you have a team, uh, well, in that case, uh, probably you don't really need it, but it's a nice to have. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful for you to understand uh, this new tool. If you enjoyed this t-shirt that I've been wearing, you can find it on my store, which is this one. I will also leave the link in the description box below. And do not forget to subscribe on this channel, the English channel, which is growing. And of course, if you want to see more of Mond content about karting, you can do so on my Italian channel. It's all with English subtitles. But from now on, each video that I will make there, I will make here also in English language for you guys to understand and enjoy better. So please leave a like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Ciao.